Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Leah. I am a new mom. I have a little girl that you probably hear in the background. She's almost four months old. Um, I do lots of motherhood lifestyle and Christian content um, with little touches of organization and cleaning throughout. Um, because that's just one of my favorite things to do is to like clean and organize. So today we are going to do, I guess somewhat organizing. We are going to pack for the beach. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going to be packing for the beach for me, my husband, and little girl, little girl are going to the beach with my entire family. So I have to get everything packed for me and my baby, Audrey. Um, Zach will probably pack all of his own stuff. So let's get started. <laughs> okay, so currently we are just picking out all of my clothes that I need to pack for the trip. And I have already laid out a lot of her stuff, so really... Most of the packing is going to be just gathering everything. I still need to pack like toiletries and house stuff, which honestly will probably be done like when she goes to bed later tonight. But I'm gonna try to get some done while she is awake. I'm gonna show you all the progress that I have started to make ow, on my clothes. I'm just laying out clothes basically. And obviously later I'll pack all like the random essentials like socks, swimsuits, like cover-ups, just different stuff like that. Okay, so I was just gonna show y'all, hey, how I typically plan out my outfits and how I start packing. I really just start with shorts. I pick out all the shorts that I like to wear. Come here. Um, that feel comfortable that I can wear with like multiple different shirts. I'll show y'all all the little shorts I have, but I have several different, or I have two different ones like this. One is printed and one is like plain green. And then I have three different kinds of blue jean shorts laid out. Um, like ones, like some light wash, some dark wash, and then um, some like black gripped ones. So I start with the shorts and then I just pick out the shirt, the shirt, which I have already done. So if you know me, you know that I love neutrals. Hence what I'm wearing them when I've packed. So basically I have a variety of white, gray, and black shirts because pretty much Almost every single shirt will go with all shorts, except for like one or two, like combos might look weird, but I just pack neutral sh shirts and then the shorts are kind of like the ones I play with and have fun with. So I'm trying to pack a little bit lighter. I know you're already like, um, Leah, you have five pairs of shorts and how long are you going for? We are going to be gone for like about a week. So no, I do not need that many, but I hate being stuck. And the more shorts I pack, the less shirts I pack, if that makes sense. Because I can, like, re-wear the shirt. I just like to be more comfortable in the shorts that I wear. And these are really good because they can range from, like, cute jean shorts to, like, these. Which are some of, some of the most comfortable shorts I am. These are all of my going out outfits, whether we, like, go somewhere fun. And then I have a dress. Um, like, if we go somewhere a little bit nicer, I don't want to dress up some. Now that I have decided my... <laughs> My little going out outfits, I'm just going to pack like two sleep shirts and probably three lounge shirts. This is one of my sleep shirts because it's just super comfy. So I have a sleep shirt and then one, two lounge shirts that I'll pack. And then I also have, I lied, I have two sweaters. So I have one, two sweaters. This is actually like a little cover up I got. It's like a jacket. And then I have a dress for if I go somewhere nice. It's like a long dress. And then I have one other shirt that's um, I need to get from the laundry and that'll be my other sleep shirt. Because I'll bring these shorts as well that I'm wearing. And this will be all the clothes I pack because I typically pack literally enough outfits that I could wear for two weeks and we're not even going a full week. So I'm trying to be better about packing a little bit more minimal since a little girl has a lot. Yay for being done deciding clothes because that is typically the part that takes me the longest. Like this normally takes me about an hour and I'm pretty sure I just did it in 15 minutes because I finally have a system. And like I said, y'all need a system when you pack because it makes things so much quicker and so much easier. Okay, so I'm currently in um, Audrey's bedroom, I'm about to go through all of her stuff. I've already picked out all of her little outfits for the trip um, and I'll show y'all like everything that I picked out. And then I'm trying to just like make, make piles. So like everything on her crib is all like her clothes and essentials I need to pack. I have my suitcase. That's a massive suitcase. I'm going to pack me and her and hopefully like um, toiletries and towels in as well. I'm really going to try to just make everything fit 
that is packable into one suitcase um because i do not want to be carrying around like multiple suitcases or multiple luggage bags and then everything in this chair over here i can show y'all is like my that's my toiletry bag and then i have um, my packing cubes and then like a little organizer bag and my silicone like squeeze bottles and then I have my beach bag like laying on the store right there that I'm going to use at the beach. I'm actually really excited. I'm going to show y'all really quick what it all is but <clears throat> this is my beach bag that I got off Amazon. It's actually really big like it's a really good size um, but it's like super simple to just like throw over the shoulder, pack everything in. It has like a liner on the inside just to keep everything like contained and stuff. And then obviously it's a little bit easier to clean. And this is my toiletry bag. I, you guys, this is a lifesaver. I'm talking, this is perfect for a weekend trip, a week long trip, a month long trip. It will hold everything I need it to hold. It opens up into four different sections. So some of the stuff I need to take out, but I'll show y'all like these two. So it has two, two of like, just like mesh inserts. This one's obviously flat. And the next one is deeper. It has two waterproof sections. So this is obviously the thicker one. And then it has like a thinner one. I love this thing because I can put all like little toiletry, random stuff, like claw clips, hairbrushes, sprays, perfumes, everything like that. And then anything truly like liquid, like if I have um, like lotions, makeup remover, super cute design. And another thing, it has a little hook, so you can like actually hang it on the hook or over the door, um, and that way you can just use it like this, and you don't have to take everything out if you don't want to. This is one of my other favorite toiletry items. So I get a pack of these three, like they have them on Amazon for a pack of three. They have multiple colors. I my favorite are the pink ones and the white ones, just because it's cute and neutral. But I love them because they're just like clear acrylic bags. And so they're also waterproof. You can put anything in it that you want. I'm probably going to use this one in my beach bag for when I go to the beach to like put my phone in, my keys, chapstick, anything that I just like don't want water getting to and I could mess it up. I'm probably just going to throw all in here. And then these are my silicone um, like squeeze containers for toiletries and I love them. They, so they come in a pack of four. I currently use one of them as like a mustardy yellow. I use one of them in her diaper bag for her lotion because it's it's a lot easier to carry something small than like a huge lotion bottle. But they're so cute. This is like the neut the naturals pack or neutrals pack on Amazon. But they're so nice because they're literally just like these little silicone tubes. You can put so much in them. They store a full they store three ounces, which is what it says on there. So they're perfect for like traveling on the plane as well. If you want to put them in your carry-on. And then they just squeeze out so easily. The last thing is my set of packing cubes. These honestly have been a lifesaver. When I first saw packing cubes, I just thought like, oh, they're cute. And they'll help me organize a little bit better. They have come in clutch on several different trips. They actually help you stay organized way better than you think they will. This is everything that I have packed or set out to pack for her. So like I said, I, I did it based on how many days we were staying. So I did um, like cute but comfy outfits right there. Nicer like if we go out outfits here. I have a few extra onesies because I like being prepared. Some bottoms to go with stuff, hair bows. And then I have um, a sleeper for every night because most of the time she pees through her sleeper every night. So I have a ton of sleepers. I am just bringing a brand new pack of diapers because I do not want to try to grab like individual diapers and fit them in a queue. But this will just be easier because I can just throw this in the car if I want to. I don't have to put it in the suitcase if it doesn't fit. But that'll be nice just to take a brand new pack to know I have enough. Um, this is a cloth diaper, but I use those to change her diaper on. Like if I'm like walking around, like I don't want to bring her changing pad. I can just bring her little cloth diaper lay her on and that way I can change her diaper headphones for when it's just too loud and I need her to sleep and then these are the cutest little bathing suits I'm gonna have to show you these when I pack them um her her grandfather um my my father-in-law picked out these bathing suits and they're seriously the cutest bathing suits I have ever seen and then two packs of wipes and a like travel wipes container and then I have an extra little like toy for her I'm gonna pack her toys but those are probably gonna stay in the car seat with her on the car ride. The other things that I have um, that I'm gonna bring for her, but I can't put them in my suitcase 
is her lounger, her snuggle me lounger, because it'll just be nice to be able to lay her somewhere on the floor or something if I want her to lay on her back or bring to the bring down to the beach with us. It'll be nice because she has a little pop-up tent that I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. That is gonna be perfect for her and I can actually fit like a few of the other kids if, if they wanna get in there too. And then we have her big pack and play. I'm not gonna lift it because it's massive, but we have the gray cup pack and play. I have a beach umbrella that I just got off Amazon. And then this is what I got from TJ Maxx that I've linked it before. I think in my last pack with me video where I packed for the beach a different time, I included this in there, but I will definitely link it again because I, I love travel products, travel accessories, essentials, car essentials. This is why like I have a lot of travel essentials because like I said, it's worth, it is so worth spending the money on good travel essentials or travel accessories just to make the whole trip there, going there, being there and coming back easier. So another thing that I'm packing is this little beach, um, it's like a beach blanket. It's actually really nice because it's so easy. It doesn't hold water and it doesn't like keep sand on it and you can like shake it off so fast like the sand does not stick in it like like it does towels you know and then I have a beach towel for me and Zach uh, that I'm bringing obviously the rest of the stuff I'm going to be bringing this uh, wrap that I'm wearing currently to be able to carry her in and then I'm gonna bring her big carrier that uh, Zach wears typically it's like one of the ones that like um that have clips on so it's like you actually like wear it's not like a wrap that you have to tie in a knot and then obviously we're bringing the typical essentials diaper bag car seat car base stuff like that like her regular go on the go stuff we're gonna be bringing but this is our like traveling stuff so i'm going to link every single thing that i can down below if there's anything that you see um that you want that i didn't link it's that I did not link you can seriously just leave me a comment down below or you can um, DM me on Instagram I check those a lot more frequently now that I have laid out everything I think it's time to actually pack some stuff away but it's probably gonna be done later tonight I forgot something else I wanted to show you guys that I um, always travel with that is these wet to dry or wet dry bag anything that they get on themselves you can strip them down obviously throw away their diaper but strip them down in any dirty clothes that you just do not want to put back in the diaper bag. Don't want to get on anything else because they're too messy. Goes in this bag. Both of the pockets are waterproof, so it's really nice. Like they're not gonna leak through, they're not gonna get on anything else. When you go to put that those dirty clothes in the wash, this can go in there as well. Modern baby pop-up tent. Three little kids could be in here if they wanted to. Like, it's a big one and it's pretty tall. Another couple things that I'm bringing um, are her blanket. So, one that, like, I use throughout the day and then with the one that she sleeps with at night. And then two nursing covers because they're just super light. They're perfect for, like, um, hot weather. So, I'm bringing a few blankets like that. Obviously, your pacifiers. Like I said, her typical stuff in her diaper bag. And then I'll also be bringing her bouncer because that hopefully will keep her content.
So some of the things I had forgotten to put in Audrey's like main clothing and essentials bag that I had on my list. Like I said, I just totally forgot. Wow. I just totally forgot to put in there. Um, are a couple washcloths for um, like when I bathe her there. I can just give her a bath in the sink that I'm there because she's still so little. Two little hats. This one is more of like a, it's reversible. Let's see where key is. So it's pink and then has little popsicles on the other side. This is like an actual like waterproof beach hat. Then another little hat um, that's just green. And then a few bibs. I'm only bringing, I think three, yeah, three bibs. And then two pairs of socks just in case she gets cold at some point over there. Please ignore how I look because it is currently almost 1 a.m. Technically the day that we're leaving. The baby wrap to like wear her in one pocket. Baby headphones and that dry wet cloth bag like for dirty garments in the other section. I did a little bag. I always do a little like makeup sized bag um, for all things hair and jewelry. So I, I did like this one has all of my little bobby pins and hair ties. I have some scrunchies and then I have like a hair clip and some earrings and an extra necklace. And I actually got smarter. Whenever I put multiple necklaces in a bag, I should know, but every time I do it and they get so tangled and I spend way too long detangling them once I decide to wear one of them that day. So this time I just decided I put one necklace in here because it was a little bit chunkier and I didn't think it would get as tangled. And then I don't even know if you can see it, but I put a more like dainty, tiny necklace. I put it like, I just kept wrapping it around the scrunchie and then linked it together at the end you can see. And that way it's not gonna get tangled up with the other one, honestly. And then on this side, I still have a big pack of diapers, her two blankets, and then her to go wipes case. Then I have two packs of extra wipes just to case. This is all of my shoes. So this one is typically not used for shoes, but I put so many pairs in here. It was so, it was so worth using it for shoes instead of whatever else I could have used it for. But I put slippers, of course, because you gotta be cozy. Wow, your girl needs to clean these for sure. And then several pairs of sandals. I have one, two, three, four, four flat sandals, and then one pair of like platform sandals. More parking cube, I think like four bathing suits, four pairs, yeah, four bathing suits, um, one bra, two, three pairs of socks, and then like seven pairs of underwear, all in this one parking cube. show y'all what I packed in my beach bag for um for the trip so what I typically do like another little packing hack is what I typically do is pick out a bag that I want to use for all of my beach things um like while I'm on the beach and that's what I use as like my carry on like carry around bag when I'm traveling so I have this I always bring in clear acrylic bags because they're my favorite for on the beach when I want to keep stuff dry because you never know when the waves are going to wash up on you or you're just going to get sand everywhere. So in this bag I currently have um, like some claw clips, scrunchie, and then a couple of her passies. Um, but once I get there I put things in there like if I'm bringing my phone, if I bring my car keys, um, Kindle, my little electronics bag. So in here I just like literally have some cables and cords. I also will keep my um, extension cord, always, always, always bring an extension cord with you no matter what ship you're going on because you will seriously never regret bringing it even if you don't end up using it, which I always do, but you will be mad if you need it and don't have it. I have an extra um, travel wipe suspenser that I can take to the beach and not let the wipes dry out or get sand on them. Keep a little bag full of little, like a few pins highlighters and sticky notes. A few burp cloths just because in case she spits up a lot and I just want to keep some near me. A Bluetooth speaker for the beach. Extra water bottle and I like to pack a water bottle that I want to bring to the beach. So this one has the flip up top which I really like. I actually got it from TJ Maxx but it's the Hydro Peak brand. 
Um, but it has a flip up top that way I can just like throw it in my bag, throw it on the sand and it's not gonna spill or get sand like all down in like the mouthpiece. I always bring my Kindle because I just, I just love bringing my Kindle. It's so convenient. It's so much easier packing a Kindle instead of like the four books that you want to try to read and like switch back and forth if you're that kind of person. I have another book. This is the, I have a paper copy of this and I was not going to pay for the Kindle version since I have a paper copy. But this is Who Are You Following by Sadie Robertson Huff because I have, um, I've always liked her book so I wanted to read this book as well and I just wanted a paper one just in case I wanted to like read some on the way down or on the beach with a paperback. And then I have a small devotional. And then the last one, the last book I have is All Things Lovely by Jen Johnson. This, you guys, one of my favorite books. Last but not least, um, I have, well, two things. I have my laptop in case I need to get any work done. My iPad. That's all that I packed in my travel bag slash beach bag. Okay, so what I keep in this top part is like one of the mesh parts. It's not one of the waterproof ones. It's just mesh as I keep um toothpaste my toothbrush nail file and then a razor with my makeup e-cloth and as you can see i've already been using it this whole week it's seriously you guys like my most favorite makeup or skincare product honestly a little headband that i use that i wear when i take off my makeup every night um i keep my hairbrush this is the best brush ever ever as well it's a boar bristle brush uh, I bring a hair comb, bring an extra claw clip, and then I typically bring about two to three makeup cloths. And then whatever nail polish I currently have on my toenails. These two things I actually keep in here. I don't ever take out because they're just for travel. It's like a little bag of just cotton balls in case I need them. My little heat mat for like my curling iron or flat iron. And then this bottom part um, is the waterproof part. So I can keep, I keep all of my liquids in here. So um, I keep things like my deodorant, the r and Cool Wind, which is like the pH Perfect Air Dry Cream. I literally just put it in my hair after I finish washing it. Your hair air dry perfectly. My Beauty Counter Cleanser, Face Cleanser, my Beauty Counter Sunscreen. I always do a travel size perfume. My shampoo and conditioner, which is the Verb Ghost shampoo and conditioner, which I just started using in the last few months and I really like it. This little toiletry, I showed you guys my toiletry set. This one is my face lotion and body lotion that I use. And then another little toiletry one is my body wash, which I just use Castile soap. This is like, I think the orange scent. Vitamin C serum that I get. Elf, my makeup setting spray. And then the Verb Ghost Oil for my hair for when it's dry. And it literally just folds up so nice and easy. As you can see, it has like a little hook so you can hang it on something. But when it's not in use, I just grab the back, that two handles. These things just fold down. You shove it. And it's a bit, and it's ready to go. And it has a little nice outside pocket as well. So that's what's in my toiletry bag. So as like I said before, I packed so much lighter for this trip and I packed for me and Audrey, I'm now four months old or about to be four months old. Um, and it was just so much easier packing in one suitcase, making sure that I do not overpack, that I just pack exactly what I need and like barely a little bit more. And that seriously made like the biggest difference in how much I packed and how much I had have to bring. So I hope you guys enjoy this little pack with me vlog for my beach trip. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye.